was popping, was good. We hear with PDC versus Nador. Um, I don't know if my eyes are like on some drugs, but I see a swallow and I see a swallow stall team. That's some. <laughs> I would call it heat, but <laughs> he has like semi stall. Depending on the scissor set, I guess maybe you can keep, call it even full stall. Just stall with a swallow. Um, I feel like PTC's team looks. Yeah, okay, he has the duck trio. There, there we are again with Dougie the Broken Man. Um, like I was about to say, PTC gets destroyed by Heatron like really, really badly. But then I just realized, ooh, Dougie traps. GG. Balanced mons, balanced mons. Okay, the door has uh. Bulky offense. Would be interesting. Would be interesting to see what the, the Z move mon would be. I feel like Z move Laddie. Uh, it's like pretty popular in this SPL with a uh, Gigavolt Havoc, Havoc, however you pronounce it. I think I saw, um, yeah, someone said in the chat earlier that's a Ben Gay team PDC is using, or an edited version of it, yeah. Wait, someone said just 6 old Club Fable. Why did he go, I think he scouted for a potential trick there going in his scissor. Um, yeah, I'm still like confused how PDC beats Feral Stone, but there is your answer. Um, yeah, I said he gets 6 up by Feral, but taken care of. He just got rid of the lefties, which is huge. Like, Feral Stone is so annoying for PDC, that's why you usually run uh, Sableye. Mega Sableye on stall, so Feral Stone cannot get up hazards and annoy you with Leech Seed and all that good stuff. But yeah, knockoff scissors pretty clean. I don't know if I agree with the U-turn play because you take more chip damage. I guess the damage is pretty nice for PDC, and he's not unaware clef. Um, I have heard PDC has talked about unaware clef, and like he hates it. But he said after a while of testing it on stall, he said it was is good on stall. He just works clef, okay. Oh so, yeah, okay. He doesn't have a chance on that team, so it works clef, not. Not rock scum, that makes sense. Uh, or not rock Duggy, which is not reliable at all. So if this Metagross is like Power Punch, Thunder Punch, which is not a set, or if he just gets a me medium mesh boost race, and then the Skarmory is in huge trouble. Um, I guess he also has a Scissor, but that's why I don't really like that play of you turning on the Pharaoh, because your Scissor is getting low. With a uh, Hazards up, your Scissor is at. Um, Somewhere at 55-ish percent, maybe 57, around that. So Scissor cannot really switch in it is a potential Hammer Arm would 2 kill. Mesh into Hammer Arm might 2 kill. A lot of someone said semi stall with like 3 Pursuit uses. Now this is always short knock off and Deuteron, so it's probably a Roost and uh, either Defog or... Uh, Short stance. Oh, bullet punch. I forgot about bullet punch. It's obviously bullet punch and roost. Unless PDC is crazy and doesn't want bullet punch. I don't know. Um, nice play by Nador. Um, predicting the Skarmory. The Skarmory is really his only play there to check the Metagross. And this is just a free vote switch on the Clefable, in my opinion. I don't see PDC staying in. Yeah, this is the freest world switch I've ever seen. Like, there's no way you will with when he has a fable in the back. There's no reason to make that play, and exactly Nidor doesn't make that play. Makes the correct uh, call, and and uh, now he can um, go to Metagross or if he's banded Poison Jab, he can go Formosa too. But I don't think that's a good play.
Like the door can kind of keep uh, keep doubling in my opinion. Like there might come up some 50/50s uh, soon. I think now he's gonna go Metagross and then um, he might double switch again into Rotom, predicting the Garmory just to uh, wear down the Clef with Volt Switch. The problem is uh. Hmm. I'm not sure if, if he gains anything from doing that. Because his Metagross and his Rotom have to like keep taking rocks. I mean then again, PTC Skarmory also has to keep taking rocks. But Clefable has this broken ability called Magic Guard, which means he doesn't have to take rocks. At, on the other side, he could be unaware Clef and uh, if he had a Mega Sable, uh, these hazards wouldn't have, like these hazards were not even on wouldn't have even been on the field like was a thing I really th I think um, yeah he made the play again great play great play by Nidor obvious but still as well as win rate gonna be 100% after this battle like he just stays in this time because PC said, I've had enough of you doubling around, volt, volt switching around and doubling around. What was I trying to say? Yeah, go on. Yeah, exactly. And um, what I was trying to say is, um, Club Fable is usually good with Unaware on stall to check uh, Zygarde and Manaphy. But he's probably Ruben Skarmory and, and Zygarde like, doesn't really beat him that well because he can PP stall. A little bit and whirlwind them out every time. Thousand arrows only has 16 BP. Thousand arrows doesn't do super effective damage the first time you attack Skarn. But to be honest, I don't like PDC's team that much. Sable is just really key on Stall to keep hazards away. But um, this is definitely more interesting than if PDC brought a standard standard Stall team. I like it. I like it. I don't think it's the best Stall team, but it's definitely the Heat, and I would like to watch it. So it goes to Laddie and this pretty much confirms that he has T-Bolt in my opinion or I think he has to have something to hit this because the um, the Rotom Volt Switch did only 66 so I think this is running Spadef, I don't know how much Spadef, I don't know the Kalk. But I know Fizzdef Scum takes a bit more than 66 unless I'm going insane here. What what team is Nidor? I think Nidor is on the other Raiders. They are like they're looking really good and dominating. I think. Yeah, he, he has Tebow. Okay. Nice to see that he uh, he probably is Zemo Vladdy because he's not Life Orb. Um, unless he's the bad. I don't know if it's the bad set, but Soul Dude Tebow doesn't really do much. I've used that set. It's not really good. Could. Soldu doesn't boost T Bolt, you only boost your stats. But I've used it over life up because I didn't want to take life up recoil and nah, the power was just a bit disappointing. It didn't do as much damage as I would like to. So what's PG thinking about here? I think yeah, he just has to sack the scissor, right? Get some nice damage on the Letty, but yeah, this is going down. And uh, I would, would be interesting to see if he's pursued Dougie. Um, he kind of needs to keep the, the, the Dougie alive um, for the Metagross. If, like, his Skarmory is like. Getting pressured by rocks and it's like at 66 if it comes in. Ooh, he brings out the god shake. He must. I don't know what this nickname is referring to, but he has shaken his head. That is me. Oh my lord. Uh, I don't know why I said it was Scarf Swallow. Swallow obviously outspeeds Laddie. I think it's 125 base speed. Did I say it was Scarf? I don't know what I'm saying. What I was saying, but yeah, he's just. Boom bursting here, right? Because the Pharaoh's at 37. Yeah, he's boom bursting here. 
and uh, something is gonna take huge damage if this lady is scarfed which is not the case probably but that would be huge <laughs> for an Adore uh, this guard I'm getting blown away take that 78 specs boom burst in the cut swell is really cool so Pokem Pokem used it a few days ago but he used it in a lower tier I think kinda wanna, I kinda wanna use it in OU they call me the Hida Fahida. Um, yeah, I kind of want to make it like a series that is like Hida Fahida but different, like a little bit different. And I'm gonna have to think of a uh, a good name for that series. Probably like Road to Insanity or something. Don't steal that name. Copy. I'm um, copyright. Good God, I don't know what I'm talking about. Nah, do whatever you want with that name. But yeah, I'll probably call a series something like that. Double Dent of Matter was predicting the cool fail. That, that was a nice play. Like PC's game played like shirts, but like on the other hand, uh... PC is using like the, the defensive team. So usually you you use these teams. You don't have to, when you use these teams. You don't have to make a place uh, with a stall or semi stall, but when I'm on the ladder, like sometimes, and I use some fat team, I don't do it that often, but when I do it, um, and my opponent keeps doubling on me and like I get really pressured at some point, I eventually will uh, catch on, catch on on that, and I will like, like they keep doubling. Eventually, I will just uh, start staying and make really aggressive plays. And I will get really scared because then sometimes they, if they don't, if they predict me to stay in on a specific turn, I'm like screwed. But sometimes that you have to play like that when they like have you in a, in a check position with doubling around, and you just have to predict that double. So ooh. The tank. This Metagross probably doesn't have Zen Headbutt. So that's interesting that Earthquake only does 54. So Toxapex is healing a little bit, but PC is not beating this Metagross with the Toxapex. I can see him going for recover like one or two more times. And if he doesn't get crit, he can then pivot out into Skarmory, get Regenerator on this Toxapex. Door just goes Laddy, which is also a nice play. Covers both options. Covers PDC going Skarmory because he has uh, Chi Bolt. I can see the Gigavolt Havoc coming out here. I don't think PDC is really enough to go hard. Doggy. Yeah, and the door's playing this like really pretty well. He has the, the upper hand, has had it up. The only thing that doesn't care about has this clef. This this is gonna get blown away by either T Bolt or Gigavolt Havoc. Okay. That T Bolt is so much. I think he's like f probably um Max Defense, Toxic Packs, or the Or Toxic Packs is just not as bulky as I thought it would be. Tries to go Duggy on another T Bolt. Okay, works out. Um yeah, we will see if he has pursuit now. <laughs> PDC won in severity, already won the war, lost the battle. Nice toxic play, nice toxic play. But yeah, Swallow is like fun, uh, it's like nice heat, however you want to call it. But it's not gonna be enough for PDC to come through. But it did 50, 68 or something, but Boomer has to guard charm, so that's that's enough. That, that thing is getting thumbed, I don't care. <laughs> I can smell the dislikes because I put a swell on the thumbnail and, <laughs> and not the Clefable or the Toxapex. <laughs> JK, JK, it's all good. Um, double from Rotom into Metagross. 
What did you predict there? Why uh, couldn't you just have vault switched on this? Like on a doggy. Oh wait, his Rorum got toxic, never mind. So he doesn't want to stay in with Rorum for multiple turns and get worn down. Which makes sense. But yeah, I didn't really understand that pay turn completely because I'm, I'm like getting really tired. Lack of sleep. It's already uh, past midnight here. And I didn't sleep much last day. Um. Damn, he double in the roll him on the Skarmory, like stop him. Um you think PDC is going like I have no one in call, but if I had someone in call, like I was like I would ask him like if PDC was weak enough to go hard doggy there. Just to get some poison damage on Rotom. But yeah, it wouldn't really accomplish that much cause He couldn't keep doing that since his doggy ha has to take spikes and rocks all the time. He does that. I mean, Metagross just comes in now. Scum is at 55. So, we don't know the entire move, so we know the mesh and the, the earthquake are revealed. So, if, I don't think he has Thunder Punch. If he had Thunder Punch, he. Nah, 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 I get, I get what Nador is doing. He's playing around the Duck Tree on the back, probably. Like maybe he has Thunder Punch but he doesn't want to kill this Garam it, so he doesn't get trapped. But if he removes the Skarm, doesn't like the... Not if I'm also doesn't win if he removes the Skarm, there's still Toxapex. But Toxapex is not even reliable, like it cannot even come in on the Fermos, like it's... It's like this low, at 37 after it's had it. Okay, gets the race. GG, it's over. GG, it's MB. <laughs> Just kidding, what did I say, MB? Um, of course, he misses Rip. Um, I think Dougie kills Magros at this range. Yeah, this chat is saying, why not EQ? I guess he was just getting. Trying to get another boost or uh, trying to predict the potential Skarmory there. Um because PC might have tried to pivot. Like in the door's head, I understand the play because PC kind of needs this Toxic Packs to check the Pharamos. Uh, and I mean, EQ kills anyway, so that miss doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, P2 is playing later, I think in five hours. Um, and he has Bullet Punch too, he just didn't reveal it earlier. So, yeah, and the door pretty much. Play this, play this game near perfectly. I don't know if he could have won if if he if he didn't get up hazards. If there was a Sable on your opposing team, it would have been interesting how it would have played out. But yeah, I like how how the door played this one. <clears throat> like Skarmory is like. Exactly, he's trying to reveal the Gigavolt Havoc, I think. I mean, he doesn't have to, he can just roost if he has it. Roost. What, what, else, what other moves would this have? Whirlwind? Counter, potentially? Maybe Toxic? <laughs> Not 100% sure, but something along those lines. Oh, yeah, it probably has defog. <laughs> oh, none that this is a good have defog. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But PTC's team is just really weird. I don't go really get what it's meant to accomplish. It's like a weird version of Soul. <laughs> No well, shake said PC just forfeit. No 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 let him let him play. If there's a cleft there is a way, let him play. Just kidding. Um 
Pity this drastic Faber has never lost a game, he can do it again, maybe on the chat. I mean, he has to dodge like a multiple moves here, multiple matches to have a chance. It's Rock's glass, so what would the last moves be? Maybe knockoff. I thought Coleman Rock's glass like once. That's really rare, but I don't think he's that sad. I feel like knockoff would be good to get rid of the lefties on type of Feeny. Okay, also it's knockoff on scissor, so it doesn't have to be knockoff on clef. <clears throat> so this is just PFE fighting. He's not he's not trying to give up. I mean a dark and worse peer to cancel out lefties. Unless he's like <clears throat> not running will with because he says no nah, no nah, type of thief everywhere not running will with but yeah you should still run will with in my opinion yeah, and he probably is running will with but Oh my god, stop this man. I was just like trying to question his Fermosa play, but then. Oof, oof, oof. <clears throat> Watch this play. I jump kick. Okay, okay, never mind. I think he's. Is he banned? 57. I think banned would do a little bit more. No, nah, he's not banned for sure, yeah. I speak more just 47. Wow, can this guy actually. Annoying the door enough to bring this game back. I don't think it can. He also has a I mean, no, no, there's no way PDC wins this because Discovery, uh, Discovery will eventually run out of roost, <clears throat> and he can also get frozen eventually. This is just a matter of time until the door wins. <clears throat> But I guess it speaks for his PTC, he's trying to fight for his team. I actually don't know the score for this series. We'll check it afterwards because we are getting to an end of SPL week 4. Um, the deadline is like 4 or 5, 5 hours and 40 minutes, yeah. So I will check the score again for you guys afterwards. Um. SPL videos will come out the next days, like a few every day, but sometimes maybe not that many until I have my new computer like installed. I'm gonna get a new computer and I'm gonna have to like reinstall all the programs I use there. Oh, he's trying to get a dev boost. <laughs> So yeah, he has counter, he doesn't have anything to touch, uh, spikes, spikes boost counter, I don't like that sad. If he's whirlwind, then, like, either whirlwind, if he's not whirlwind, he loses to subtoxic I got a thing, kind of. Unless the scissor can beat that, I don't think. No, scissor cannot beat that, I think. PDC seems really weird. Um, I know PDC was 2-0 at the beginning of SP, like the first two weeks then. I think he lost last week to Mazar. Shoutouts to Mazar. And now he's about to be 2-2. Two two. <clears throat> it's okay, PDC, like, <laughs> PDC finally, like, said it's okay. We can we can stop and just forward. He said, he said GG. Pretty, like, um... Despite PDC, like bring some type of weird stall, pretty interesting game. I mean, the Swallow was worth to watch alone, right? Like, leave a like for that dude Swallow, and if you want to see uh, more content, let me pause it real quick, and I'm gonna be right back with the team score. So yeah, PDC is on the Shark Sharks, and Team Raiders is uh, doors on Raiders, and the Raiders are like destroying. Uh, this Ray Scarf is still hasn't played this game with Undisputed. That should happen later on. 
So the score should be 5 to. 5 to 4 Raiders, if I'm not mistaken. So they always have one the week 1. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time with a more SPL. A lot, a lot of SPL content coming over the next days. Stay tuned for that. Peace out, friends.